snow plowing 2022. Got the tractor with the push box and the bucket and the scrape blade. Load number one, get it unloaded. We got to go back and get the backhoe and the skid steer. All right, let's get uh, unloaded with the bucket first. We'll come back up here and grab the scraper or the pusher box. the skid steer so get that unloaded put the pusher box on it and just drop the bucket as a spare over there in the corner always like to have options with the skid steer for some reason the push box or something breaks always got a bucket howdy folks why well, you got a Kubota hat oh, on I, I bought me a Kubota <laughs> Oh, I thought it was a coyote hat. Oh no! Oh lord! Can't have none of that. Well, you, you know, you can't get that knockoff stuff. You know, <laughs> from 20 feet, it looks the same. <laughs> they come from the same place, just one side they of the might. river. They, they actually do. They're made on the opposite side of the road, as Kubota is. That's a fact. Look it up, folks. So we got the uh, skid steer here. I was a little limited on videos yesterday. It started uh, raining, and it was not pleasant to be outside, but. Uh, we're at one of many big uh, industrial complexes that we got to take care of. Got the John Deere backco here, the Cody tractor with the loader bucket, scraper blade, and we got the skid steer with the push box. I uh, got the narrow one just for some reason something happens that can still be run on the tractor. So um, I have options for that. And then if something happens to that, we still have the good old reliable bucket, but I don't like doing that because it wears down cutting edges fast on the uh, scraper blade. Last season, uh, had the uh, cutting edge off the backhoe welded on there. So it's got a lot of uh, grinding left to do. But I think that first year we wore that yeah. down and in that one day. Cutting edge gave a little more weight too. Oh yeah, a little more weight. And that one's gonna last a lot longer. It's about twice as thick. So we're just waiting on the snow now. Hurry up and wait game. Well, they said go. I don't know if that's enough to go over, but by golly, the man paying you says go. Here we go. Well, it's starting to come down pretty good now. Unfortunately, the rain yesterday washed all the brine away, so it is turning into ice on the uh, on the pavement there. So once you scrape. 
scrape it. It's pretty much an ice rink, but they wanted to scrape it, so that's what we're doing. Uh, I got the meat. One of my guys back over here. We've got to adjust the rubber cutting edge on the push box, lower it down a little bit more so that it's making a little better contact with the ground. What happened, bud? It's R not cutting. Wrong socket. It's a 15 16. So I don't think I never lowered that down. There's a rubber squeegee at the bottom of this box. And uh, I think it's wore down even. It needs to hang down about a quarter of an inch. And that kind of helps scrape a little bit better. Oh, the joys. So we had to use the uh, backhoe to reach in here and knock it down because evidently it's rusted on there. We want about a quarter to a half inch. I'd like a quarter so it doesn't wear down so much. That's good there. That's about a half. Maybe drop the uh, the blade down on the ground and it'll level itself up. Oh, the joys. We should have done this when it wasn't snowing. That would have been but, good. But we didn't know. It looked like it was hanging down enough. All right, roll it down a little bit. Pick up a little bit. Pick it up. All right, roll it down just a touch. All right, straight now straight down. Perfect, right there. And then you just give them the ugga dugga. You don't have to give them all the ugga duggas. Just enough where it won't move. Thank God for impacts. With lights. Thank God we only get snow twice a year. Or once every two years. Alright, give her a try, bud. Oh, we got good contact now. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. You done a burnout. Good to go. Well, I'm out here scraping away. I don't want to say the name of this place, but, uh, it's the Golden Arch place. And there's just trucks everywhere and trailers everywhere. And this is a third of them. The rest of them are over there and I'm on the other side of the building. And they go nonstop, 24 seven. So I got the other boys working on the rest of this complex. There's like seven other buildings. And I normally just stay out here because this is the most active one. Um, they can work on the other one. There's not many people out and about. Um, this one gets a little chaotic, so I just assume stay over here by myself and uh, keep track of everything. Um, like I said, we got trucks going in and out, in and out, in and out. And uh, I just assume stay over here and keep the path clear for them. Uh, not really the most productive thing in the world with the backhoe so you got to watch out for all the trucks see he's pulling out and that one's taking off and they don't know where to go and it's slick as you can imagine out here all the uh look at them just spinning out all the brine that they put out on the road and drive areas has um washed off in the rain yesterday so I just let them do their thing and hit in between them. They just want me to stay on top of cleaning up everything uh, just so it doesn't accumulate so much. Uh, as you can tell with the truck's driving, of course, he doesn't even drive where I scrape, but you know what? It is what it is. I can, I can only do so much. Um, but I run down here and keep all the, the drive aisles cleared. Um, Snow 
Ground plowing in the south is completely different from everywhere else. You know, we get about two inches every two to three years, and they're calling for three to five out of this storm. So it, it's going to be a, a cluster that the northern friends are going to laugh at. But really, this is a a crippling snowstorm down here. I, you know, you can laugh all you want, but it is what it is. Um, it's just a, a whole completely different world down here, and we're not used to snow. And um, yeah, it's just a, it's a nightmare. And uh, pretty much everybody's going to be like, why aren't you using snow plows and push boxes and stuff like that? Well, they're paying for a backhoe and, and that's what they get, you know. It might be two years before I plow again and I might only plow for, you know, eight or ten hours. Well, that doesn't justify buying a several thousand dollar push box for this thing. So pretty much I would be working at least a couple years or so uh, doing these little events. You know this one this one might turn out to be a little bit more than a than a you know an overnight push you know it's supposed to snow all night long um so pretty much i'm not interested in coming out here and and working just to pay off for a push box it pays the same amount running this back to around just chasing little snowballs as it would with a 20 foot plow on here so I think you catch my drift. Yes, I know it's pissing in the wind. Fully aware, nothing new. You don't have to tell me that. Not complaining is what it is doing my job. Um, but yeah, all I'm trying to do right now is just keep the main aisles clear and keep traffic flowing as good as I can. So uh, yeah, nothing spectacular. Just scrape, shove it over here. Two trucks were missing right here, so I commandeered that as a spot to put snow. I'll take it and shove it back there at the end, but for right now, I'm piling it up right here because they'll be done filled it up. And as you can tell, there's absolutely no place to push snow around here. So I'm gonna make a giant pile right here where they can't park any trucks. And then I'll worry about getting it back further. Uh, once it starts adding up, I'm gonna leave a pile where they can't back any trucks in there is pretty much my logic behind this. So let me get back to it. Hopefully he's not stuck. Well, boys, she's coming down pretty good now. Look, I got me enough to build a snowman. Just look at that. Yep, not much. bad for all those guys out there shoveling by hand that's not my building that's another company that's actually the amazon distribution center look at you ever wonder where all the little blue vans go and park at right there acres and acres of blue vans and that acres and acres of building right there is where they all go to get loaded so there's a different company that has all that they they got to plow that which i'm glad i don't have to deal with all that because there's like little plastic parking bumps in there but pretty much everything else as far as you can see i got to clear all the lots of so all the guys uh they've been working on all these buildings as far as you can see getting all those scraped away so i'm going to run down here and check on them and See how everything's going. All right, well, I came down here and checked on them. I swear, I think the tractor does the best. We go and row everything out. And uh, he's over there on the um, skid steer with the push box. So he'll roll it all out to the aisleways. Then he'll come over with the skid steer and push it all into a stockpile. Works 
really, really good for what we got to work with. Oh, it's cold out here. Here he comes with the skid steer. Maybe we can get a video. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> He's on the ice. You're going to get scooped up. Watch out. It moves more snow than anything else. Get you a good clip here in a minute. It'll get behind it. You've been rolling it down. Oh, yeah. Get behind it like we doing that slush that time. That worked good. You, you all, you all well, that's why I got y'all working together because yeah. I'm pissing in the wind where I'm at over there. But, hey. <laughs> I, done, I done took my coat off and everything. I done got so hot. There's an onion over there. I'm telling <laughs> This is a lot better than what I have over there. Mine is like literally. Oh, He's he fine if you can get it before I touch it. Then we can get the tracks. Yeah. After I go over. Me and the trailer right in the way where the snow's supposed to go. Well, we'll do the best we can with what we got. It's laying in that open casket steer. Woo! <laughs> now you can get in it if you want to. You gonna get back in the tractor where it's nice and warm? All right, get back to it. cut on quick enough he's spunning around and the truck started drifting sideways and it got a little hairy there I think he's gonna get it on uh, he come down here and turn around and found another spot we can get back in there and get out of the way oh god we're sliding but a solid sheet of ice out here. He's just spinning away. Come on, get up there where I scrape. Oh, you got it now. There we go. I gave him plenty of room there to get that tuck out of the way because it's helping me get another truck out of the way.
gets there in the push box. We pile it up. He takes it over there into a stockpile. Go back. Do it again. Oh, we're getting the big pushes now. I'm catching what he's got. We're just making a giant windrow as we go. Let's see, we've got a manhole right here. Let's slow down a little bit and carry on. Got to be careful for those uh, storm grates. I don't know what that edge was right there, but a little oomph. Getting some snow piled up down here now. Well, we finally got a uh, pretty good amount here now, about three inches or so. Now it's not too bad to scrape really start to add up in the tractor trailer jungle here just trying to keep a path straight for them it's kind of died down it's about one o'clock in the morning now and uh most of the trucks are back now so just working on keeping everything moved around the, the yard dog uh which picks up the empty trailers and puts it to the loading dock to be filled for tomorrow is still out here running around so just trying to keep him a trail that's him sitting right there in the middle of the road um, just trying to keep him a nice little path opened up to maneuver around I'm gonna need a bigger area to put snow
sun's up now. We worked all night long. We stopped right before daybreak and took a little hour nap. Tried to. It's hard to sleep in a cold truck. It takes forever to warm up. But uh, got a little power nap in. We're hitting it hard for day number two. At least the sun's coming up. The stuff seems to be uh, melting once we get the snow scraped off of it. So it's always just to keep plucking away at it. That's all folks we had a good uh, good uh, snow here plowing event we ended up getting in about oh god how many hours we get in let's see we started at seven last night 
almost 12. Yeah, we got in a good day and a half there. Almost a day and a half, 17 hours. Lock everything in. good my guys do a great job we all work together good but i tell you what i'm ready to go home <laughs>